Well, hello there. Welcome back to our Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. We are doing the Kingdom of Norway. And we are going down the fascist path currently. Um, we are... What are we doing right now? We are working on plain stuff. We are working on the frontier of the skies. Um, in this video, we are probably just going to be empowering the fascists because they're still... I mean, they're getting there, but it's very slow. Shit needs to get done. Um, we're still a social democracy, and that is pretty unacceptable if we want to put in a fascist regime. Now, unfortunately, however, um, in order to attack Sweden or even Denmark, we need to be all the way down there, which kind of sucks. It isn't very practical because, I mean, if we're able to attack Scotland and... Wait, why? That doesn't even make sense. If we attack Scotland, we're still going to be attacking the United Kingdom. Unless they just somehow declare independence or some shit. But, I, yeah, I, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. We might declare war on Sweden without the focus. We'll see. We'll see how things go in this video. But for right now, we need to keep developing and furthering the fascist agenda within our nation here. Maybe once we get some more fascists in power here, we can uh, help out the nationalists. But we got to get cracking on that. We just finished our air thing, now we will approach the Fatherland League, which is going to decrease the popularity of fascism, but I don't even know. We'll just go with it and see what happens. Hmm, Sweden wants non-aggression pacts. Uh, we have other plans. Well, that was a very fast focus. Um, who's this new political advisor we have, though? Oh, yep, the popularity of fascism without a doubt depleted itself. I don't see anybody on here that we can get. Was it that dude? Who the hell did we unlock? I don't even know. Whatever, let's get a fucking more useful focus, because that, that didn't do shit. We gotta, we gotta increase our fascist popularity here. Um, we can... Time to build support and state is reduced by 15 days. Um, are we... No, we're not working on the fascist... On the, on the Civil War shit yet. Um, we could try banning communism, maybe. Um, let's get industrials to support. That's just military crap. Alright, well, well, fuck it. We'll, we'll do that. Well, the German Reich is going to help us. Um, I don't know how they're going to go about doing that. Time to build support in states reduced by 15 days. What does that even mean? Is there, I don't, like, I don't see an event going on or anything. I don't know. Let's just keep going down the path. I don't, I don't know. Ah, this smooth-talking charmer little bastard is fucking things up with that same ideology monthly opinion thing. Man, that's what's mucking up the waters. Um, we can work on this a little bit too, maybe. Uh, partial mobilization. Uh, just the typical fascist crap brinsmanship sure we'll ban fascism too i mean communism not fucking fascism and we'll coordinate the equipment manufacturers but other than that we just gotta wait for shit to happen i guess this fascism needed to hurry up well can't really go down the fascist path anymore i mean if it really does take too long i can just eh, 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 cheat cheat my way into it but Meantime, let's try to make our own planes. Sure. And might as well research some planes along with that. Boom. We can get some air-launched torpedoes. There we go. Do some Japanese stuff. Four-year term passes. Um, so this is for, I mean, four-year term elections. Um, I guess, I guess we'll just say very well then, I mean, uh, back, back to the Sam Norsk debate, whatever the Sam Norsk debate is, I don't know. Well, we've done that, that now, and we can work on, what is this, the Institute of Technology, sure, boom. Fascism is at exactly 20% popularity. Uh, could be a lot better. Could be a lot worse, I guess. I don't know. 
Might have to cheat the system. That's so slow. Hmm, what type of air stuff do we want to do? I guess operational integrity. So we can you know, have the bombers kind of do ground stuff instead of like mass large scale America type bombing. Range improvements and uh, uh, armored car, sure. And let's get, oh yeah, I gotta get them maintenance companies. All right, well, here's the situation here. Here is the situation. Um, we are just barely at 21% thingamajiggery. So we are going to do this. Oh, and the nationalists won. I couldn't even fucking help them because of this bullshit. But here's what we will do. We will cheat said system and wait uh, approximately 50 days for the focus to be unlocked and then boom it'll be a lot easier to become fascist i don't think it'll happen automatically but it'll be easier and in the meantime we'll research some shit like high powered cartridges and maintenance companies and interwar artillery stuff and we will have a splendid military along with a lot of support equipment because we never have enough support equipment and the germans have gone after Mamel now which is about all they can do because Austria-Hungary is here. Speaking of which, I wonder how powerful they are. Oh, and there's the focus. Um, what does that do? They have an event now. What is Sam Ling? I don't. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Um, a coup? Uh, a, a lag. Let's just. What What is the military? Oh yeah, probably a fascist coup. Sorry, I'm really tired right now. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I think we're just gonna have to end the video at the, uh, the fascist, the fascist coup here because this has taken longer than anticipated to just get the fascists in government here. These damn Norwegians are really stubborn about their social democracy here. They don't, they don't want authoritarianism. They just don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I guess. Poor guys. That's pretty sad. Now we're gonna work on all the infrastructure and all of that. Now that we have our secret fascist militia, now we can, um, I, don't, I don't know, uh, more fascist stuff and pre preparation for the coup, most importantly. Also, let's see how powerful Austria-Hungary is here. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a pretty formidable force. They're about as powerful as Poland, though. In fact, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, they're less powerful than Poland. I mean, they do have more territory they got to worry about, but I don't know. I feel like, yeah, Germany could definitely go for them. Um, it's not like they're not going for Poland, though, so. Eh, oh well. And the German Reich is justifying against us. I think I see now, lag, um, what that whole thing was. I think we were agreeing that Germany would come over here and help us in our coup and install a fascist government. Um, with their support. Um, not sure about that. It could just be the Germans are very mean people. They could also be going for Denmark and Norway, which is one of their focuses. I don't know. Uh, they could be doing uh, Operation Wesserburn. Verscherburn. Um, but then they would have had to do Anschluss. So I don't know. But whatever. Oh, shit. Poland is really getting cream footing here. Well, I mean, that's that's how it goes. I guess we're just going to worry about boats and stuff now. And worry about supplying our island out here. How many people live here? Oh, that's good. We have a non-aggression pact with the Philippines. That's a good thing. Um, ten people. Oh, ten people live in Jan Mayan. Okay. Well, yeah, that's true. We all we also have these islands that are like up here. Okay, well we are at oh uh mm, right, wait did they get it? Oh fuck! It was Operation Wessel Bungle. Well, uh, now we're in World War Two and we're on the side of the Allies. So that kind of fucking sucks, to be honest. Um, uh, I don't know what to do in this situation besides do a coup, but we're in the Allies, so that kind of sucks. We need to change that. And so, oh shit, seven days? Pause, pause, pause. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, that's not very nice, Hitler. I thought we had an agreement. Um, looks like we need to do a little bit of a, a loud diplo there, right there. Uh, can we do a little bit of a white piece as well? White piece, Germany. Pretend like none of this ever happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we can. Well, that's convenient. Now we'll just leave the allies. And nothing ever happened. And now it's time for a coup. Let's get this fucking day night cycle off. Of here. Yeah, there we go. Um, coup time. And, whoa, what's going on? What is going on? Alright, here is Social Democratic Norway. And then the fascists are all here in Oslo. Um, we do have a shit ton of units, so I'm not too concerned about this. Let's see how many actual Norway has. They have two. Alright, well, yeah, we're, we're definitely winning this. Um, we just got to do some stuff. And by stuff, I mean uh, march across the mountains and take Bergen and then maybe Narvik, and then I think it's pretty much over after that. Yeah, there's no way they're going to be holding on after Nar Narvik. They've lost 11,000. They've lost an 11th of that amountage. They've lost. Now I'm sure it's even more absurd. Yep. <laughs> now we've lost. Tw it's a 21 to 1 ratio now. That is ridiculous. Get rid of who? Who now? Oh shit. That's the that's the wrong focus right there. Looks like I gotta load up a save real quick because we want to go down this path. Actually. Oh yeah. No, we don't want to become a Reich's protectorate. No. Especially not after they declare war on us. Those bastards. There we go. See, that's that's the dangers of leaving observe mode on. And uh, if we took a little bit too long there, we could have been pretty fucked because, well, I haven't been saving as much as I probably should be. So we almost got trapped in the autosave. But it's all right. Everything is under control. And now we're going right up there to Narvik. We're steamrolling the last of the Norwegian resistance here. Or the liberal Norwegian resistance, I should say. Now it's time for the Norgesveld. And Iceland is taking control of foreign affairs. Wow, that's how you know shit's really hitting the fan now. Denmark is dead. Now it's all down to Iceland. And Germany owns Greenland. Well, there you go. Um, holy shit, we took Narvik and they're still holding on. Damn, they must really have a bad opinion of fascism, you know? It's not very fair. Oh well, we're here anyways. We're in Tromsø, or however you pronounce it. Oh my God, we gotta go all the way over there to the Finnish and almost to the Soviet border. Well, we can do it. Oh, we didn't even need to make it. We still got one train, 510 pieces of miscellaneous weaponry, and 314 just various pieces of supplies. Well, there we go. Oh, and Zog is a part of Italy now. So there we go. Whoever Zog is, I think it's a person. Whatever. Regardless, the fascists are in power now. And I will end it off with one focus. One focus. We'll do radar research. Then we will research the radar. Boom. Radio detection. Let me make sure. Okay. No, never mind. We probably shouldn't do that. Because that boosts radar technology research speed and it, uh, oh can I not pause it okay well there's not really a point of me doing that then uh, oh, fuck it it doesn't even matter whatever <laughs> to hell with it all all right well here is our now fascist nation as you can see if I go to the ideology map it is brownish orangish color it's a, all like poopy and stuff and that's that's a good thing though that means that we're fascist and good stuff. Although, unfortunately, we did lose our non-aggression pact with the Philippines. Maybe we can get that back. Okay, no, they don't like us anymore because we're not democratic. But it's okay. There's there's other fish in the sea. Like maybe Italy. Yeah, Italy wants to have a non-aggression pact. I would do Germany, but, yeah, I mean, they don't want to. But also, they declared war on us, so fuck them. But here we are. We have our fascist nation. And that was episode two. Alrighty. See you later, then.